Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's Memphis going up against Kansas City. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Now the left fielder, Ricky Piper. The pitch. On the ground, right side, Cairo. Over to first, and a quick out number one. So digging in, Juan Tejada. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. And that one a little bit high. No score, just getting started, top of the first. There's a strike. Guy like this can be tough. You know he's not going to try to beat you with velocity, but he's going to sink it, he's going to change speeds, and he's going to pitch backwards at times. There's a strike. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Griffin racing over to make the catch. Matt Justice will hit next. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. That's in there. 0-1. Swings through that. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Got him swinging for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Now the batter now, Ferguson. The right fielder, number nine. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Littleton, he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable, he just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. And there's one away. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. Ramirez stands in now and watches strike one. Ground ball left side. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Piper makes the grab and that'll end the inning. New inning getting started. And here's the rookie center fielder, Oliver. Number 13. The pitch. Nope, at the ball. The 1-0. -oh. And it's fouled away. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Kevin Dixon. And that's in there for strike one. Second inning here, no score. That one missed. One ball, one strike. Strike two. One good ball, late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses. Gassed it right by him. Henry Kozart getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. There's a strike. Bounce to third. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning.
back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the rookie third baseman, Joe Warren. Down the corner for a strike, and that is strike one. Kicks and fires. Oh. And that just misses. It's One a good ball, take. Two strikes. That it's misses. It's two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Right into the plate. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first and quickly one away in the second. So up next, Eddie Baroa. First pitch just misses. Good eye right there. The wind to kick the 2 0. And a swing and a miss. There are very few counts in today's game where you can just full on expect a fastball. I mean, even 2 0. Perfect example right there. On the ground, whips it to first. And that quickly, two away. And here's the catcher, Quentin Weiss. The other way, and that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Wastes no time there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Lamont St. All in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. This one high in the air to left center. Oliver makes a nice running catch. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Jonas Santos. And a pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, no, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got him. And there's one down. Here's a big power threat. Dino Casilla. That one misses, and that's ball one. Casilla getting to start in right in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and a strike. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Griffith puts it away for the out. Two down. Nino Mendez in the box here lets that one go for a ball and there's the strike and he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup either one <laughs> something off speed Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Set for the bottom of the third, and now Dusty Griffin. The pitch. That's ripped, base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. That's towards center. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Ferguson.
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ferguson measures six feet, eight inches, 22 years old. A former first round pick in 2023. The 1 0. And a rope into center field, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, he's in there. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Ramirez up to bat next, lays off for a ball. He's 0 for 1. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well done, drives in the run. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now here is Cedric Marmion. Runners at first and second with one gone. Up the middle, dives, and he can't hang on. On to first, two away. Well, oh, we talked about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Fought off foul. The 0-1 on the ground to third. Throws across the diamond, and that's the inning. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Ricky Piper. Pedroza back to work. He swings and fouls one off. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And here is Juan Tejada. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. There's a strike. Gonna count one and two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. The two two on the way. And now the count filled up three and two. pitch and that's ball four well a breaking ball in that three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now just couldn't find the strike zone and first offering is fouled off at the belt and fires strike two Tejada leads off first with one away with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here makes the catch for the out stepping in Oliver went down on strikes his first time through they say he went the next offering misses and a count even one and one and the right hander deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Ground ball up the middle. 
fires over to first. And the inning is over. Bottom four, stepping in the long ball threat, Eddie Baroa. And here it comes. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And strike two. Swing and a ball popped up. Dixon makes the grab, one down. Quentin Weiss now at the plate. That's hard hit on the line. And it's into the gap. And that's going to roll to the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next to hit, Lamont St. Paul. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. One out and a runner at second. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Ball two. Got him. Two down. Here's the left fielder, Dusty Griffith. Singled and scored his first time. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Deal one. Line drive. Piper settles under it and makes the catch. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kevin Dixon. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. That one, one not close. And that is ball one. And the righty deals. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That's out to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And that one is lifted in the air. He's under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. And now Dino Casilla. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. The next pitch misses, and it's 1-2. and two. And now two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Next offering is fouled back. 
And the pitch. Kozart leads off first with two down to the inning. Next one misses, and now three and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals. Swing and a slow roller. And he grabs it, foul. And a 3 2. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the power speed combo, Julio Cairo. In for a strike, that's strike one. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. And now it's even up. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Zips it to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. In the air to left center. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. And now it's going to be Ramirez. One for two. Ball one, no strikes. This to third. Zips it across. And there are two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one the other way. And that is that. Welcome back. Top six. Here's the third baseman, Nino Mendez. The wind and the pitch. Bounce back to the mound. On the run, sends it over to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. So the lineup flips over at the play. Ricky Piper. That one's in there, 0 1. Piper, in his rookie season, just 21 years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. And the next pitch is way outside. He hauls it in, two away. Now it's the second baseman, Juan Tejada. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the right side. Cairo tosses to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom of the six. Now the third baseman, Joe Warren. Third baseman. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Ripped in the right center. Base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you... Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. In to score from first, and they lead by two. 
puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. The left-hander on now, Geraldo Trujillo. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Weiss in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. On the ground, and it finds its way through for a hit. Baroa coming home. Ball comes home, and he's dead at the plate. Next is the designated hitter, Lamont St. Aug. Swings through that one, 0-1. Trujillo, a former All-Star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Out towards left center. Piper snags it for the second out. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Oliver makes the catch inning over. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's going to be Matt Justice. And the right hater back to work. Outside. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. And now Oliver. And a pitch. Right side, hard hit. And he handles it himself for the out. And now the shortstop, Kevin Dixon. First offering, and it just misses. And that's in for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Foul ball there. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Pedroza makes the grab and that's the inning. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Booker Kidd on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Check swing to the first pitch. Look down to third. Didn't go. In the air, left field down the line. Reaches for it, but it's foul. Now this is in the air down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. 
up the middle. Oh, wow. nice play. The throw, safe, and that's his third hit. And now, Ramirez, one for three. Swing, and he breaks his bat. To first, out number two. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Popped up. And that is that. We go to the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Henry Kozart. Pedroza back to work. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Santos in the box now. No balls and a strike. Liner, base hit. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Santos over at first with one away. And it's one and one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Hey. And it's even up. That one drifts inside. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Mendez in the box now. Take strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Oh, and two now. Way high. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to... Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ricky Piper. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, number 30. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a dives but it's off his glove and there's the third out that'll do it for the inning so now it's the four hole hitter Joe Warren the pitch and there's a ball in the air out towards right center Casilla makes the play, and there's one down. Eddie Baroa, the next to hit. Popped up. Dixon hauls it in for the out, and there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. And here is Quentin Weiss. Fly ball down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here's your one. To the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Digging in, Lamont St. Paul. On the ground to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So that's two straight two-out hits. 
couple of singles back to back. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Sends it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Well, there's a sign from the crew chief. We are officially in a rain delay as they'll put the tarp on the infield and hope this one passes quickly. Well, the goal is to resume play within the hour, so that leaves these managers with a bit of a decision. And Will they be able to keep their pitchers in the game or not? So we'll have to see on the other side, folks. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Juan Tejada. The pitch. Called strike right there, Hoffman. In his rookie season, 22 years old. And he was a sixth round draft pick in 2023. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Matt Justice will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this. And that one is lifted in the air. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Man at second. And a foul ball. Hard hit, right side. Marmion steps on the bag. Now only one out remaining. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Substitution being made at first on the pinch run. Danny Randick. Here's the catcher to hit. Henry Kozart. Ball one there. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Corners are occupied with two down. Hard on the ground to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.